All right, so we are here for our last section of inequalities that we're having on our test for Algebra 1 for 2024. If you hadn't done so yet, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Now, because I am the unique of uniquest teacher, this is how I teach this type of stuff, okay? These definitions don't make sense till we start graphing them, okay? Here's the deal. Y'all know how we have been shaded like left and right? Okay, so it's shaded above. Well, this is supposed to have a line up underneath it. I don't know why it doesn't. And this is supposed to have a line up underneath it. All right, so it's shaded above when it looks like this. So basically when the Y is being eaten, this is when we have like our greater. Okay. All right, and we're going to shade down because this is our, you know, our less. Okay, and the reason why that we're shading up and down is because we're dealing with Ys. Okay, and on our, you know, on our grid, remember our Ys go up and down. You know, we've been dealing with Xs, which is left and right. Now we're... Kind of like yesterday and previous with the uh, open circle, closed circle. Okay, dotted line. This is like our friend zone. Has even does anybody have like a colleague or a friend or an acquaintance that's like in another one of the algebra one classes and you? Y'all have compared notes and stuff, and you said, oh, my teacher calls that friend-zoned. Okay. And <laughs> it's fine. All right, solid line, and this is our relationship. Not our situationship, our relationship. All right. I'm relating that because that's what we did on Monday. Okay. So I'm trying to tie it all together. Now, let's start putting this into practice. That way, all this makes a little bit more sense, and we're worried that, you know, Mr. Jeffries didn't take his special vitamins this morning. Okay. I had students, they would tell me that they were on certain types of special vitamins, but they would say other things. I said, just call them special vitamins. So that's what we would say. So let's look at this. We're going to find all of our stuff right here. Oh, I forgot to go over this thing. Uh, you should know like y equals mx plus b, where b is where you start on the y-axis, and slope is rise over run. Hey, I got a question. Like in the past, you know, when we had this, how many of y'all thought it was always crazy that, you know, we read it this way, but when we graphed, we had to start this way? How many of y'all thought that was weird? Okay. Does anybody have an idea why would we why we would start here when we graph? Because where this was created, that's how they read from right to left. So they would start here. No, they read from right to left. So they start here where this was created in like Egypt and things like that. Yep. All right. So now let's look at this. By the way, this is how your test and stuff is going to look like. It's going to have this stuff all in it. You get points for putting that in there. Okay. You have two problems on your uh, test that look just like uh, this stuff right here that I'm putting these little asterisks by. You only have one that you have to graph. Wow. Okay. So, first off, is this going to be solid or dotted? Does it have a line underneath it? 
No, so this is going to be dotted. Remember, that's our open circle. That's our friend zone. Okay. All right. Which way are we going to shade? Is it is the Y being eaten or not eaten? Eaten. So we shade up. You can you can do an arrow or you can write up. I don't. I can read both. Believe it or not. All right. Our B. As we're going this way, what's our B? One. That's our Y intercept. That's where it touches right here. Okay. All right. And what's our M? What's the number beside X? Two. Now, I'm going to write it like that. Because remember, it's rise over run. Oh, not rise over rust. <laughs> All right. So, we have all our characteristics. Now we need to put it onto the paper. So let's zoom in really big. And I know y'all are going to have to squint because this is why y'all's uh, grids are not very good. Do you see how it's blue up here and very light blue? I did not think about it yesterday. I should have had to change the contrast for how them. Normally I change it to like a dark black and it copies better. I've already found another one for the practice test and test, it's, we're going to be good. Okay. It's my bad. All right. So from here, I can go up to over one, or I can go over one up to, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like the little uh, horse head in chess. I know that's called a knot, but more people know it as the horse head. Okay. Now, all right, this is a dotted line, right? It's, is it solid or dotted? Dotted. So what, what if I did this? What if I just kept going on with the slope and making dots everywhere? And that, that would be my line, right? Because it's like my open circle. Yeah. Instead of actually having to do like a dashed line. All right. So there is my line. It's dotted. Okay. Now, which way am I going to shade? Up or down? Up. So I'm literally going to go from this graph and just go up like this. Okay. Because what we're doing, remember, it's just like we did with the X's, all this stuff right here, everywhere we're shading, those are possible answers. Okay. So that's what this would look like. Now, some people would do it with a highlighter. Some people do it with this or with that, different things. Okay. But now, I don't go like super crazy on shading. Okay, and you're going to see why, because I'm going to tell you, because the last example that we're going over is what's going to be uh, like the one you had to graph on the test. And okay, so we're going to go over that. Now, not too awful bad. Okay, could be worse. Yeah, everybody's like, that looks bad. The reason why that looks bad is because I did it. Okay. Now, if I want to do it nice and clean, I would have done it like this. Ain't nobody do best me. I'm just so fresh and clean. So fresh and so clean. clean. 
All right, so that's a little bit better. That makes a little bit better sense to sit there and do it like that so more people can see it, okay? But I was pretending like I was y'all and I just had one color and stuff. You know, not all these fancy doodads. And yes, I'm still waiting on the time when y'all can sit here and come in and like click on the desk like Tony Stark did in uh, Iron Man 2. And all of a sudden the desk turned into like a computer and y'all just do all your work right there and it saves on the on the cloud and you just log out and go to the next class. But, you know, <sighs> we're not there. All right. So that was one of them. Are we supposed to know how to do everything after one example? No. Okay. So let's look at number two. <laughs> Number two. All right. First of all, is this going to be solid or dotted? Solid because it has a line up underneath it. So I'm circling solid. Okay. Which way am I going to shade up or down? Down because Y is not being eaten. What is my B? Negative six and my M three. Okay, so what I've just written right here in brown, you have two questions like that on your test. The reason I have you listing the characteristics more than graphing them name me a standardized test where you had to graph not the act not the sat uh i don't know about acap did y'all have to do it in acap or did y'all have to just pick the right graph hey i even know like on the ap math test you don't even graph you just pick the right graph so if you know these characteristics you're going to know the equation or the inequality so it's like it's working smarter, not harder. Wow. All right. So we got to go to uh, negative six. So we got, you know, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I zoomed in my own face like that instead of using this, but, you know. All right. And it's three, so I could go over one. Up three, one, two, three. All right. Sometimes I like to do another one, two, whoop, one, two, just to make sure um, my points are good. I usually do that when I'm doing woodworking. That way I can make my line straight because I'm probably about as good as a cross side carpenter. And bam, so there is our solid line, okay? And if you, you know, if you didn't want to do the dot thing like we did earlier, you could actually just done your pencil like that. All right, which way do we shade, up or down? Down, get down. So everywhere right there down i know it seems like it's really high up but we're going from this graph down from this graph down 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 okay now yes yes you may use the restroom yes we still have the really big pass I need to get another one. Kids love using that one. All right. A little bit better after seeing the second one, right? Yeah. How many of these do you have to graph on the test? One. 
some of y'all are like, Whew. I think graphing on paper is archaic. I know, but I, we're doing it because we're trying, I'm, I'm trying to be a team player with everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right, number three, solid or dotted? Solid, shade up or down? What is our B? What is our M? Three over five. Okay, so negative two, one, two. So go over five, one, two, three, Four, five, one, two, three. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and three. See, it goes a lot faster when we don't have to learn it as we go, you know. Now, the definitions make a little bit more sense. I just really, I really, I just. The graph. All right. Now, because this is a solid line, that means that every point on this line is included. Okay. If it was a dotted line, that means if there was a point on that dotted line, it's not included. That's friend zoned. It's acknowledged, but not included. That's really important for what we're about to get to with example six. And by the way, our example six? Problem six, problem six, not example six. By the way, we're skipping five. There's not one like that on the test. Okay. All right. So now we're going in reverse. Like Missy Elliott said, so flip it and reverse it. All right. So first of all, is this a solid or dotted line? Solid. Okay. Is it shaded? Look, is it shaded above the line or below? Above. Okay. So that means our inequality is going to look like this. It's going to look, I didn't give us enough room. It's going to look like this. So we know it's going to say why it's going to be eaten. It's going to have a line up underneath it. Okay. What is our y-intercept? Where does it touch? It touches like right there at 4. So we know we're going to have an x and then a plus 4. I got it. All right. Now, to find your slope, this is the one that always gets everybody. All right. Do you... Hopefully this graph is a lot better than the other ones that y'all had to graph on, right? Is this grid better than the other ones? Can y'all see the grids better? Yeah, it's because it's darker. All right, so do y'all see where the grids meet? Like right here on this line? Do you see like where these little black grids meet on this red line? Okay, that is a point on the line. So how do we get to this point on the line? We went over one and down how many? That is our M, that's our slope. Negative three. Bam. Yeah, not too awful bad, huh? I don't know, this next one looks super duper crazy hard. If it was, who wants to be a millionaire, you might have to phone a friend. We tried that one time in class. And one kid said, all my friends are dumb. They wouldn't know the answer either. <laughs> it's 
Sorry. All right. Now, I know what everybody is. Uh, I could see it in your faces. Everybody's like, I got the shading. I got the B. I got the line up underneath it. How did you get that number in front of X again? Okay. That's the one. I started at B. And I, I found a point where the it this line hits on the little black grid behind it. And I counted how to get there. So let's look at another one. This is a big problem. <clears throat> Thank somebody. I mean, it's... <sighs> All right. Solid or dotted? Dotted. Okay. That should be obvious. All right. Shade up or down? Down. Wait. Yeah, that was shade up. Mm -hmm. So this is shade down. So this is going to be Y is less than. Okay. My B. It touches the y-axis at negative 2. Okay. Look over here. It looks like it... See how this grid right here and this grid touches right here? On that line. How do we get to that point right there? What did... What the heck just happened? Look like we went over one up one, right? Did anybody else see that like dot try to like run away from me? So we from here we went over one up one. Okay. So now if you do this, I'm not gonna count it wrong. Okay? Because if you have to write that one for you to understand it, that's fine. If you have to write it like this, I'm also not going to count it wrong. But it's also, mainly it's written like this. Okay? All three of those are accepted. How many of y'all had to put the one in front of the X? Yeah, always did. I, was, I don't trust it. I'm like, it's not there. All right. All right, go to number five. Write the following. We're going to have questions like that we'll deal with this. Like basically, you would plug in the X and Y to see if you get a true statement. I'm, I'm not going to waste five minutes for something that's not on the test right now. Okay. A joke, yes. This problem, no. <clears throat> Seems fair, right? Okay. All right. All right. This is the only type problem that you will have to graph on the test. Okay? Except, I'm not going to say circle. I've, you'll see on your little review sheet, you have to like put like an X or something beside them. It's in like a little box. Okay? You actually get a grade for the graph. Okay? So, let's look at this right here. What is my B for this one? Three. So let's go to three. One, two, and three. So my B was three. All right. What is my M? Negative one. Okay. So I'm going to go down one to the right one. All right. 
is it solid or dotted? Does it have a line up underneath it? This is dotted. So I'm actually going to do this. This is just, you know, what I do. You don't have to, you know, I know a lot of people try to be like me, but, you know, but you don't have to. All right, now, which way am I going to shade? Shade down. All right, so this is why I said that we needed to shade really cleanly. Okay. Because we have to plot these points to see, are they in here? Are they in this shaded part? Okay. Yep. Well, some of y'all can look at them. So let's look right here, like at negative 5, 1. So this goes over one, two, three, four, five, up one. Like right there. Even if even if you didn't like plot them, you would follow it over with like your pencil or pen. Be right there. This one is, is a that one is. Okay. This one goes negative two seven. So negative two up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a no. So we don't do anything to it. Zero, zero. Yes. Zero, three. Let's see. Over zero, down three. One, oh, up three. One, two, aha! Zero, three is right here. It's on the dotted line. Is it included? No, because it is friend-zoned. It's acknowledged, but not included. So we do not circle it. Okay. All right. So two, negative six. That would be a guess because it's going to be down here. And then five, eight. Five is over here somewhere and eight's up here. Okay. So that's it. So that's today's lesson. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know the 10 people that was paying attention in my class of 30 did. All right. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll time.